The adventures of Lefty and Righty, the Windy City, takes young readers on a fun journey throughout the city of Chicago. And author Lori Orlinski joins us now with more. What a great idea. Thank you, Lori. Thank you so much for having me. I actually can't take credit for the idea. I was getting ready to ask you, where did this idea come from? So my daughter, Ellie, she's now seven. When she was about four years old, we were in, you know, family Sunday, folding all of the laundry, and I just said to myself, why are there no white socks that have a match? Where did these white socks go? And Ellie just looked very innocently and she said, they went to the White Sox game. Ah! And for months and months, we would continue up. We called them Lefty and Righty. We would continue their antics. And we talked about where they went, that they ate hot dogs, that they got messy. And then this is my fourth children's book. So I had written three others that are lesson-based. So I thought, this could be a good book to teach kids about the city of Chicago. That is Fantastic. so cute. Yeah, it's kind of like Flat Stanley. The kids were doing that for a while. So, and you kind of are encouraging people yes. to take their socks on an adventure. Yes, I also have this adorable little plush toy so kids could have their own lefty and righty. They can take lefty and righty out to all the places in the city um, that the book is or even where the book isn't that doesn't show pictures of the city and use hashtag lefty righty on social media. Well, let's so talk cute. about some of the places that you yeah. visit in the book. So they start at the Jefferson Park L stop, and that's a nod to where we live. We live in Jefferson Park. They go everywhere from the Shad Aquarium. They visit the Bean. They go to the Field Museum. And, oh, cool. of course, they end up at Guaranteed Rate. Um, and that was, you know, always the intent behind the book. But the big surprise is that their socks are surprised to see humans, not actual socks, playing baseball. Oh, <laughs> that is too and cute. It's super cute because you guys are pairing with Socks Charities. We are, yes. I'll be donating a portion of proceeds to White Socks Charities. They're very committed to youth education and literacy, so I'm thrilled to give back in that way. And you got some great news this morning. You are number one on the Amazon bestseller. I did. I found out the book is a number one Amazon bestseller um, in Chicago and tourism books. So I'm thrilled. That is amazing. I, I like the fact that you're also doing, all of your books have, are, have this component where kids are taking away with something, even if they don't know they're taking away with something. Yes. I think lessons are so important because it's so much easier to read a child a book and then kind of explain and role play what the lessons are and what you would have done in that scenario versus sitting them down and having a tough conversation mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an, an easier way and a less intimidating way for them to learn. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the first three books. So the first one is about being small, right? Yes. Okay, and then the other two? The other two are a little bit different. Tooth Fairy's Tummy Ache. It's a book about honesty. Oh. And uh, a little girl loses her first tooth and she actually swallows it. Uh -oh. And she puts it under her pillow and ends up putting a kernel of popcorn under her pillow instead. And it's all about what happens when you don't tell the truth. Mm. And then my third book is called Balloons for Tiger. It's a book to help deal with pet loss. Oh, mm. yeah, okay. that's going to be really hard for kids. All yes. lessons that kids experience as they're growing up. Yes. yes. Uh, and, and has your daughter resonated with a lot of those? Uh, have they really helped her? They've helped all three of my kids. Yeah. All of the books have been somehow inspired by okay. my children. Okay. Oh, well, they are the best little creators, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> little rugged. For better or for worse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. So you are going to have an autograph session? Yes. So I um, have a nine-stop book tour. It starts on Saturday. I'll be at Yorktown Mall. Mm -hmm. at Barbara's Bookstore, and I have stops throughout Barnes & Noble throughout the city. I'll, of course, be at Guaranteed Rate in April for their family Sunday, and I'll also be at this year's Tower. So people can feel good that the, buying this book also helps with White Sox Charities. Yeah, Absolutely. That is fantastic. Lori, this is so great. Cute. Thank yeah. you, and that little plush doll. I, I so imagine great. we'll see a lot of kids with a Thank you, and I have a copy for oh, both of you and your it. kiddo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They will love it. All right, it's Lori Orlinski, author.com. You get more information, and of course, on Amazon. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. All right, thank you.